Hello, and welcome to another episode of Glorious Life on Wheels. I hope that you can hear me because I forgot my microphones, so turn the volume up a little bit, okay? But the title of this video is, Do You Really Want to Be a Nomad? Or Are You Running from a Miserable Life? And I want to explore with you the possibility that many people who get involved in van life are becoming a nomad are not doing it because they really want to live that lifestyle, but rather they're trying to leave the life that they have and find something else that will fill the hole in them. And people do a lot of things in life, not just get involved in van life or nomad living for that reason, but it results in unfulfilled expectations and disappointment. And I wanna talk a little bit about that with you today. And if you're interested, Come on, let's chat, shall we? I'm not a full-time nomad because I have a special needs daughter and I have to have a home base. However, since getting my van about five years ago, a little over five years ago, I have traveled over 100,000 miles across this country and I've met thousands of nomads in person as well as online through comments and emails. So I think I have a pretty good idea about what I'm speaking on today. I meet a lot of people who are not running towards something when they're getting involved in van life. In my opinion, they're running away from something. But the curious thing is that they don't realize that what they're running away from is themselves and wherever you go you're going to bring yourself with you that's just a fact of life there was a very popular book that was written by a pastor from California several years ago and I think it's called the purpose driven life it became an instant success I mean it became a bestseller people were forming book clubs to discuss it I mean it really touched a nerve. And I think that one of the reasons that people, or some people, I should say, not necessarily those that are doing van life for financial purposes, but some others are doing it because they're living quiet lives of desperation. And they think that becoming involved in van life or being a nomad will change that. They're looking for some kind of purpose in life. They're looking for something to fill the hole or the gap in their life that leaves them feeling empty. Sometimes it could be a parent who their whole life revolved around their children. When their children grew up and left the home, their purpose in life disappeared. And now their kids are older they have families of their own, lives of their own, and as a result, they don't have as much time and they're no longer the center of the parent's life or the parent does not have as significant a role in their life. And that has left a huge void. Or sometimes it's a divorce. Um, a person identifies as part of a couple and especially if the divorce was something they didn't see coming or didn't want, they now don't know how to identify themselves. They don't know where they fit. And they think, well, making a, a, a radical change, such as selling their home or moving across the country or becoming involved in van life will fulfill them. It will take the place of the loss of being part of a couple or the loss of a job. I mean, there could be a host of things, but the reason that they're doing it is not going to end up fulfilling the need that they have in their life. Sometimes the reason that a person may get involved in van life is they see all kinds of videos with people camping with others and having fun and, and enjoying life on the road, but camping with others isn't necessarily a large part 
of van life, you spend a lot of time alone. Additionally, if a person has a hard time in sticks and bricks, approaching people, contacting others, making friends, or just starting impromptu conversations, you're gonna still have a hard time doing that as a nomad. As I said in the very beginning of this video, who you are in a sticks and bricks is who you take with you when you become involved as a nomad or in van life. I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a therapist, I have no expertise. I'm just a 71 year old woman who has observed some things and come to some conclusions based on those observations. I do have some suggestions as to how you can perhaps fill some of that void in your life. Whether you become in van, rather, oh, I'm not gonna redo this video. So whether you become <laughs> involved in van life or whether you stay in a sticks and bricks, I do have some suggestions. And if you would like me to do another video offering some of those suggestions and perhaps bringing someone who has more expertise in this area on, let me know in the comments. If you're seeking to find a more fulfilled life or if you're seeking to fill that void in your life, come join us today at three o'clock, that's Saturday the 22nd on the Glow Live because we're gonna delve into this just a little bit more on my Glow Live today. All right, love each and every one of you and hope your journeys are filled with joy and blessings. And I will see you next time and maybe on my live in a little while.